Quick run through of the teams. Hull City and Andy Dawson name an unchanged 11 from that Blackpool game. Backs to the goalkeeper, Christy, Figueredo, Jones and Greaves. Woods, Seri as the sitting two in midfield. Doherty, Slater, Pelkas and Ryan Longman keeps Oscar Estepinian out. Doherty, Slater and Longman all getting their first goals of the season. The bench sees Coyle come in, replacing Will Jarvis recovering from illness. So Ingram, Coyle, two fans, Cynic, McLaughlin, Oscar Estepinian and Brandon Fleming make up the Tigers team. The Tigers have possession. Christie infield towards Woods, about five yards away from the halfway line, plays it down the right-hand channel for Ryan Longman. Longman now being stood up by Peltier. Longman teeing it back for Doherty across the penalty area. It was an angling shot with his right foot. Now, whether or not he was looking for either Pelkas or Slater at the back stick or if he went on his own on first viewing, it looked like he was trying to find another marvellous finish. Now Rotherham going for the long diagonal, searching for Norton Cuffey. His uh, control off the thigh just invited Jacob Greaves to come towards him. And Hull City will win the ball back. Greaves now then, clever through ball. Don't think he meant it, but it's unleashed Doherty. Doherty towards the box, takes the shot on. Will be a corner because Johansson got his right glove to it. But Jacob Greaves, who cushioned the ball down near the halfway line and then moved the ball centrally. I think it was actually meant for Longman who was charging through the middle, bypassed him. Doherty happened to be free as a bird on the right-hand side and with a side foot finish could not supply the goal which would have sent the away end to my right-hand side. Absolutely potty. Greaves throws it in, chested by Slater and the ball finds Longman, edge of the area he's working an angle to shoot, takes it on it was powerful and it bounced in front of Johansson but he parcels it up as mentioned earlier had plenty of saving practice in the match against Stoke and he'll need something more magical to trouble him it was a decent effort from 20 yards Rotherham sacrificed the ball to Pelkas, Pelkas into the area, he'll take a chance, side footed, saved once again by the keeper and it was the same scenario as Longman's, didn't find a corner, Pelkas wanted to pull it across from left to right when really he should have tried to slot it into the near post. So Rotherham just look a little bit rough around the edges, Hull City look a bit more polished as Rotherham can now maybe put an attack together and they've gone for an aerial route into the area. Eves is header, trying to find Washington. Ball bounces to Wiles! Oh, what a save by Baxter. Ten yards out, Rotherham's number eight. Took it on the half volley, wrapped his foot around it very smartly. But Nathan Baxter with an awesome stop to tip it over the crossbar. Magnificent stop from the keeper. Keeps the scoreline at nil-nil. Early contender for save of the day. Might even be save of the round in the championship. Tom Eves, as we know quite well, will drop deeper into the midfield. They haven't swarmed the midfield though, Rotherham, as Hull City win it high. Seri now out to Greaves. Greaves edge of the area on the left. Trying to deliver low, turn behind for a corner. Encouragement from the away end. Hull City haven't had the most of joy in this first half. Will it happen now as Seri is on corner duty? It's delivered into the heart of the six-yard area. Few headers away. Hull City still have the ball down there. And Jacob Greaves has touched it in. He finally has his Hull City goal. The one he scored last time in South Yorkshire was chalked off for McGuinness. There's no dispute this time. Jacob Greaves to the corner flag and Hull City lead before the break. Rotherham nil, Hull City one. Seri the corner taker this time and there was magic from Mika. Confusion from both sides in the penalty area. Rotherham couldn't clear it. Hull City managed to work away in scrappy fashion to keep the ball alive in the box and then the swinging boot of Jacob Greaves saw the ball trickle past Johansson
and Rotherham United now looking to get the ball in the area they've worked it down the left hand side oh what a goal Rotherham United equalise before the break down the left hand side the whole City fans are very quiet now Barlasar from the left hand side was loose moved into the area and delivered on the right foot it somehow went through everybody and nestled in the right hand corner of the net and that when you play at home is how you respond the whole city fans have only just finished their goal celebrations and now three quarters of the stadium are up on their feet Rotherham won, Hull City won. It looks like Ollie Rathbone is no longer on the pitch. But in the meantime, Hull City have this free kick, which is to the left of the penalty area. Pelkas is over it. Now, it's is it too narrow to have a shot himself? It isn't. He's gone for it himself. It's pushed out by Johansson, then Slater. Oh, what a save by Johansson. An even tighter angle. Slater went for it. For the top right corner, Johansson got something on the ball, crashed into the post and got the ball away to safety. And they're going to win it back in the midfield as well. This time, Adolfin wanting to carry the ball out the midfield. Christie into the area on the right-hand side. He's trying to work an angle to shoot! And Cyrus Christie has his first Hull City goal! The pressure has told... Hull City reclaim a lead they squandered at the break and Cyrus Christie who last scored in February as a Swansea City player is up and running and the two full backs this afternoon are the ones who have scored the goals Christie had the perfect angle on the right-hand side of the penalty area and his shot went under Johansson. He's going to be disappointed with that. No keeper likes getting beat at their near post. Long throw in, Greaves, free header out to Longman. Is the touch kind to him? It is. He's shrugged off Norton Kofi and he's danced past another. His through ball finds Doherty behind the defence. He's in on goal here. Greg Doherty saved by Johansson. That was the moment Hull could have gone 3 1 up. The attack still alive. Christie with a cross from the right hand side, claimed by Johansson, who's a busy keeper this afternoon and he's just made one of the biggest saves of the day to keep his side in the contest Rotherham won Hull City 2 but Hull City could have had a replica of what happened three days ago after 56 minutes Slater taking the ball away from the winger and playing it back to halfway for Alfie Jones Slater over towards Alfie Jones Figueredo now Either of them two going to get on the scoring act, I wonder, from a set piece to keep the trend going of first goals. Christie, what smart turn away in the middle of the park from Ferguson. Rotherham looks shattered as the ball is in the area. Greaves across, Longman! Ryan Longman makes it three! This away day gets better and better for Hull City. Back-to-back -back goals for the first time in his career. Ryan Longman makes it Rotherham 1, Hull City 3. Away day deja vu. Every outfield player up to celebrate. Jacob Greaves with a delightful ball played across the penalty area. He was out wide, Hull City are getting all the joy out wide now and with 2,000 plus away fans just encouraging them towards them. The invitations are there, Hull City have three and who knows, 30 minutes to go, this could get even better.
Rotherham substitute Georgie Kelly, striker, gets his first touch of the ball to intervene. Seri, lovely ball. Oscar, oh, Johansson comes out. Now to the right of the area. The ball spills to Slater. Slater goes for a chipping effort and Johansson pushes it away for a corner kick. They're shooting at will when they get forward now, Hull City. One or two in Rotherham shirt still giving it a really good go, but some feel like the game is up, you would feel, as Doherty slides in with Cohen Bramall as well. Christie, oh, he's won it back. Has it stayed in play? Yes, it has. Now then, he's in the penalty area. Christie, a cut back! Big save! What a save by Johansson. Slater almost had his second of the season. The cutback from Christie was perfect, and Slater should, could have slammed it in. Should he have slammed it in? I'm not sure. Down the line, the ball goes by Rotherham. Remember, the Tigers have a big home game coming up next as well. Blackburn are next, who are at the top of the tree. But Tufan coming forward. Tufan goes wide of the target. 20 yards out, he struck it, bounced and went wide of Johansson's goal to the left-hand side. And the man with two goals this season. Still sniffing away for potentially a third for him and a fourth for Hull City. Oscar Estepinian from the goal kick and the ball is played over the top. Tufan in behind the defence. Now can he compose himself? Tufan! There's his goal! It's Hull City's fourth. Didn't have to wait long for the invitation for another chance. The exodus begins in the New York Stadium and the celebrations have been going on for a long time in the away end. Rotherham 1, Hull City 4. In behind the defence this time, a ball flighted behind the defence. The slower legs of Rotherham starting to take hold. And Ozan Tufan from the bench has his third goal of the season. But Hull City, who won 5-1, remember, on the final day of the... 2015-16 season at home are actually thinking about doing the same here to Rotherham United as the ball is threaded through though they're looking to get one back and they will do Tom Eve squares it across Georgie Kelly manages to stab it home inside the six yard box and the Rotherham United fans might be cheering but the Hull City fans are cheering as if they've scored as well two changes coming up for the Tigers right at the end Tom Eaves able to square the ball across Georgie Kelly into the area and Georgie Kelly gets his third goal of the season